Before an item inside a list, you can place a collection if operator. If the condition is false, then this item is not included to the list. On the other hand, if the condition is true, then the item is added to the list. Also, before an item within the list, you can place a collection for operator to repeat this item. Also, you could use the local variable for the next item after the collection for operator. So the next item after this icon cannot access this local variable anymore. Also, if you have a list of items, you could use the collection for operator to access each of these items. Here the benefit is also that you can then manipulate this item. How to insert a list of items into another list in Flutter. We have a list of items that we want to include into the other list between the item 1 and item 4. Normally you would use a column that references these list of items. With this item 2 and 3 are added to the list. Alternatively, you can use the list spread operator, simply use three dots followed by the list reference. This will also place item 2 and 3 into our list, so think of it as if you have directly put the items inside of the list. What is the cascade operator? If you have an object and you call multiple operations on it, then notice that the variable name is multiple times repeated. Simply remove these variable names and the semicolons in between. Also replace the single dot by a double dot the cascade operator. So all in all, if you have an object and you call multiple operations on it, then you could use the shorter cascade notation instead of using the longer form. Also, all these chained operations will be applied to this user object. So the user object has now the name MR and the age 13, and this will be saved inside of this field. Importantly, if you chain a method, then the return value of this method is ignored and discarded. So we will not return a string back to this user object. Instead, we always return the user object and these are only modifying the user object. Let's also look at a real example in Flutter. We have a rectangle painter. Within this painter, we draw a rectangle. And on this paint object, you can call multiple operations. Next to changing the color, we set a border style for the rectangle and we also set the width of the border. 